Welcome to our homestead, everyone. If you are a homesteader or are preparing to move out onto a homestead, you probably have one of these. And this is invaluable. It's a great tool, use it for a lot of things. But do you have one of these? Today, we're gonna to talk about why you need both. Let's go. Now, practically everybody is gonna have some hand tools like these, and these are invaluable. You have to have these on your homestead. Pitchfork and a shovel, actually several different types of shovels. But do you have other things that are laid out here in front of me on the table? I think you need them. Now, many of you are going to have things like this impact driver or this battery powered circular saw, and that's great. I think they're very valuable and you should have them. Even if you don't or aren't able to afford to buy quality like a DeWalt or a Milwaukee at this point, check out this Ryobi. This Ryobi is 15 years old, actually going on 16, and it still works. Even though it's not super great, it gets the job done. However, in a situation that we have right now in our country with supply chains being interrupted, with products being more expensive because of inflation, things are harder to get. If your battery dies on you, if your battery charger happens to die on you, if something goes wrong with the electronics in this or the uh, mechanical equipment, what are you going to do? I highly recommend that you have backups to your power equipment and you know how to use them. Many of us probably do, but if you don't, I want you to think about a simple saw like this. Or if you've got a chainsaw that you rely on to cut your firewood, but the fuel runs out. We already see it happening with uh, diesel oil and certain other types of lubricants and oils. What if it runs out? Well, how about a crosscut saw? This is a one-man crosscut saw. You can use it with two men, but these are really not that super expensive. Learn how to sharpen it. Learn how to use it. Have it as backup. Here's the deal, friends. There's an old saying that can somewhat be used in this situation. And that saying is, one is none and two is one. So I don't know exactly who that's attributed to, but it's probably military in nature. And maybe if you know, you can put it in the comment section below. But it also goes for tools. That's not only if you are in the military and you need a backup weapon, what if your power tools break on your homestead? I have this small drill here. My dad had one of these. My grandfather had one of these. My great grandfather had one of these. This one is vintage. I found it on eBay and it wasn't that expensive. It is in beautiful condition and it feels like it's bulletproof. If my drill happens to die, I will still be able to get some work done. Let's take a look on the table and see the other backup tools besides your normal garden hand tools that I have here on our homestead. Now these might vary a little bit for everyone, but as you can see, we've got the crosscut saw, we've got a regular hand saw, we've got some planes to be able to do some woodwork, a spokes, uh, spoke shave, we got a draw knife and a regular plane. Of course, we have our hand drill here, which is so beautiful, I love this thing. You also need something to sharpen your equipment with, whether that's a whetstone like this or some other sorts of files, it's important to have that along with whatever implements you have. So look at this. We, If we need to cut the grass, we have no more gasoline for our lawnmower. We have got this scythe and you can see it's not really used that much. I did test it out a couple of times, but it's our backup and I need to learn how to use this better. Here is one of my prized possessions. I absolutely adore this thing because it was my great grandfather's. This is a brace and bit. And I've got these drills and the uh, actual brace itself for the drill to go into. These are awesome. I remember my dad using this when I was growing up. We've also got some other woodworking tools that can come in really handy with um, other types of jobs. So all these different types of chisels that were my great grandfather's as well. I need to clean these up a little bit, but we've got, of course, a hatchet and an ax. You've seen videos on both of these before, and they are very, very valuable, especially if you don't have 
any fuel for your chainsaw. And over here, this is actually a new addition. And I added it because of its versatility. And this is a Scotch-Eyed auger. So if I need to put um, certain pieces of wood together, and you know, I, I do have the brace and bit, but this one, if I happen to break a piece in this brace and bit here, which is pretty tough to do because it's these old tools are bulletproof. Um, then I have got this and I can put a piece of uh, or a stick through here and utilize it like that. So anything that you know you're using modern equipment for, you should have some sort of backup, especially if it's really important, like a chainsaw, and you don't have one of these. Oh my goodness, when we do run out of fuel or fuel is $100 a gallon, I'm exaggerating, but if it's really difficult times, then that, no matter how much it costs, it was $180, by the way, is going to be so much more valuable than that because that is just going to be a paperweight. And additionally, if you're thinking you're gonna store fuel for a long period of time, yeah, you can a few years, but after that, it doesn't work very well anymore. So then what are you gonna do when you need to heat your home with wood. You're going to have to move to something like this. You're gonna to have to learn how to sharpen it, so on and so forth. So that same concept applies to things like this. This is our well house. It is fed by electricity. The pump is fed by electricity from the barn. The barn is not on our solar system. It's on a separate transformer. We're still on grid there. If I do get a solar system, a small system, to be able to power this pump, that's great. It's gonna cost some money. But what if the pump fails? Okay, so do I need a backup hand pump? I would say yes. I don't have it yet, but I'm probably going to get one because I do not have any running water or a pond on my property. So that's an issue. But I've got this and I'm very thankful for it. However, you are going to have to balance what you want to spend your money on. A hand pump for one of these things, depending on its depth, is $500. At least that's the, a good quality one, and that is made here in the USA and all that kind of stuff. Uh, a new backup electric well pump is probably going to run you between six and eight hundred dollars so it's really your judgment call on what you want to do and then of course we have our rainwater reclamation now we don't have enough gravity we don't have enough fall on our property to provide hardly any pressure over to the house from this and so we will need a pump of some sort for this i'll look into hand crank pumps and uh, old-fashioned things like that i am in the process of still purchasing a uh, an electric pump but do I need to back up for that? So remember friends, one is none and two is one. So broaden your tool stores into some hand tools like this. It's really up to you on what you want to get first. Something like this only cost me 30 bucks. It is a gorgeous piece, uh, 30 bucks on eBay. So don't be afraid to start to get something like this to back up your power tools. I'll list all of these tools that we've purchased down in the video description. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comments section below. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.